It's Monday, March 23rd, 12, 15 p.m., 12.30 p.m. It's my first day back. <laughs> it's my first day back at the gym, and it's good to be home. Um, back by my coach, my boy, and uh, just getting a little morning stretch in. I just got done with wrestling practice. Um, Doug, did you miss me? Hell yeah. <laughs> the place was dead without you, man. What's it like when I'm, when Jeffy's gone? I don't know. It's just that empty feeling I miss. <laughs> I know. It's like my empty cupboards at home. <laughs> <laughs> with no food, right? You got, yeah. We got some guys. Speaking that, of which, how is your weight? Weight's good. I'm mid 40s. Oh, perfect. Um, we got some guys in the gloves. Uh, yep. Golden gloves. We had one guy advance so far, uh, winning his first match, Blaine, and then two guys got a buy. Yeah, basically? two buys. So there's three fights this week. Thursday night. No, uh, four guys this week. Uh, one Thursday, uh, two on Friday, and one on Saturday. So cool. Guys who don't know, this is. Uh, a lot of people out there across the world right now have been tuning in. We're getting thousands of hits a day on these blogs. So uh, this is Dr. Doug Mango. He's been my boxing coach for about eight years, and we've come a long way together. We've been, we've cornered hundreds of fights together, and uh, he's been in my corner probably my last 20 fights, and uh, my next 20 to come, I'm sure. So we're really excited about the fight, and I guess I've kind of been, the guys I've been training with, I've been asking Doug uh, on the week, like, how do you feel my skill set is right now, leading it, my mindset, my skill set leading into this fight, and how do you, you know, how do you feel I'm going to perform compared to maybe in the past? Are you doing it yet or no? Hi, Bart. Yeah, come on, hop in. Oh, how, what's the policy on swearing? You can swear, but keep it, keep it clean. <laughs> Yeah, Bart will be swearing for sure. Just keep it clean, dude. I don't want no taking a shit on the toilet kind of stuff going on. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stay. I'll stay quiet. Well, you're gonna say, come on over here, fast. You can fit. Come on, let's take a family family shot. Get in behind us. Not the creepy. <laughs> 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 and then comes Bart, haircut and all. What did you get? Did you put a make a faux hawk? No, man. Head hair, son. Head hair. Head hair. Hair hair? Head hair. Bart, hair, did brother. you miss me? Absolutely not. <laughs> What's the first thing you said? Who are you with, you dummy? Dumbass. Oh, um, dumbass. I'm sorry. Nate Moore! No. Hurry up! We got a nickname for Nate. We're on the blog, bro. Yeah, we're just Nate, we're Nate, introducing Nate, everybody Nate. To, the, to the world. Nate the Meltdown Moore. Boxing coach Doug Mango. Um, heavy bag dummy Bart. <laughs> Nate Moore. The Meltdown? What's, what's his nickname? Meltdown. Your nickname's The Meltdown? Oh, yeah, because he's got meltdowns. Beats everybody up, elbows them in the face for no the, reason. It's the, Nate's got hey, the mental hey. breakdown. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. What are we going to name him? The Asylum. The Asylum? No, the Meltdown, dude. The Meltdown's good. Doug, you're okay. blocking Nate's boyish good looks. This is just my this is video blog, blog for Soccer Punch, but uh, I don't know. I just been kind of leading it, random interviews. I I uh, just keeping everybody in the loop. This is a. Uh, it's been a long week away from you guys. I think now after seeing you guys, I got my fix. I'm going back to Florida. What? <laughs> he done <up. laughs> No, I get a good training in with Nate today. We're going to grapple tonight. Bart's got, what, a hurt yeah. knee? Never going to be at the same again? What? Just kidding with you, oh. man. It's okay. Mike, do I know, you know something I don't? Doug's getting his stretch on. Not a whole lot going on other than that. Um, going to go get some conditioning in and a little bit of a run. Hey, how was your head movement down there when you were sparring? Um, were you slipping punches real well? Did yeah, the, I only did. Yeah, I mean, I I was feeling fine. I was uh, 
the problem. You can totally tell you see, you said that for the camera. <laughs> what? Well, we were we, we were earlier we were talking about the boxing, and then he got away oh. from it because you started opening up your mouth. Well, I was asking you to just kind of talk your that's thoughts on. Well, that's what I was saying. Is that earlier? I mean, you had uh, when you were sparring, your head movement was unbelievable. Huh? You know, and I was just making sure that you know you were keeping up with that when you were gone. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it. You know, it's whenever you leave your normal training and your your coach, it's always a little bit hard to stay on top of everything because the coaches that are leading the training there have expectations too, and you you know you don't you want to take and make the best of the trip. But yeah. there was a, I always move my head, man, like always m making sure I'm not getting hit as much as I can. But you know, of course you're gonna get hit, and I only did one, like really full day of sparring the other day I j it was more with uh, a small gloves so it wasn't always hardcore until we hit the ground but yeah I felt good but that's that and uh, glad to be back we're going to get uh, the whole next two weeks scheduled up and start the countdown to the ass kicking <laughs>